My name is Stephanie Prucci, and I've been in publishing for 17 years. Over my career, I've seen thousands of manuscripts. I've personally written and promoted several Wall Street Journal bestsellers, and I've worked with some of the most interesting and high-profile people in the world. And what I'm about to tell you is going to shock you, but I think it's important that everyone who sets out to write a nonfiction book understands this one thing. Your nonfiction book is worth a million dollars and you don't have to sell a million copies. In fact, you don't even have to sell a thousand copies for your book to be worth a million dollars. And here's how. What I found over the years is that some of my books have led to funding for uh, motion pictures. Some of them have led to businesses getting uh, seed money uh, for startups. Some of them have helped facilitate my authors in IPOs or even business exits. And what I tell my authors, and this is the most liberating thing for my authors every time, is I, I go through testimonial after testimonial of some of my very interesting and successful authors. And what I tell them is you just have to write a book that gets into one person's hands. And it's got to be the right person, the person who's going to invest in you or your business, the person who's going to pay a quarter million dollars a year to get your consulting, the person who's going to invest in your charity or fund your mission. And so what I want you to remember is this. This is this is really tough, so I want you to listen. When you sell a book, unfortunately, what you're doing is you're selling someone a hamburger. But let's pretend you're like a McDonald's. What you're going to rely on is that that hamburger is so tasty and affordable that someone comes back every single day. This is why when you buy a vitamin or a supplement, they put you on an auto order and they're charging you every month. And sometimes you don't find out until tax season. Um, here's the thing. With a book, you're saying, here's a hamburger. And thankfully, once you buy this hamburger, you never have to buy another hamburger ever again. Do you see the problem in that business model? So, so what you got to think of with a book is not book sales revenue. You have to think about the higher purpose of that book, just getting it really into one person's hands. So my last book, uh, one of my last books, um, a, we got it into the hands of someone who did um, an interview about the book. And over the next week and a half, the book did over 100000 in gross revenue. So I didn't go in a media sheet with 200, 300 contacts and email every single influencer whose contact I have. No, I found the one person who had a list who was responsive to that book. And it did over a hundred grand in, 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 I think it was two weeks um, after that one perfect interview. So I want you tonight to stop and think not about how many books you can sell and how many people's lives are going to change. Think about the one person who's going to either read or promote your book that's going to make what I like to say the equation of one plus one equals 11.